guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today, if you guys, is another episode of Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes. Today we're tackling level 4, uh, Arkham Assignment, which is one of my favorite missions in the whole game. You'll probably see why uh, as you watch this video. So like if you're new, subscribe if you're new as well, and if you uh, enjoyed the video, liking also helps as well. So let's, uh, let's do this. And this reporter has to ask, is it really such a great idea to house all <coughs> these supervillains together in one place? No, it's not. Hey, at least the mayor's plan to let them loose in some vast walled off area in the heart of the city got put on hold. Now that would never have ended well. <laughs> if you listen to what she's saying, it's freaking funny, man. <coughs> Alright, so there's two faces. are accounted for, except... <laughs> Joker. <laughs> must have been the first one to break out. Smuggled in some kind of explosive. No, I don't think so. Like just having hearing Lego Robin be like, "Yeah, he smuggled in a bomb." It's like, Jesus, man, this is awesome. <laughs> Even this man. Oh my God! Oh, okay, I'm good. No, I'm not. Whoa. My one issue with this game, the one thing I would have had them do, which I didn't mention, since they have talking, if you notice, they only talk in the cutscenes. I don't remember ever hearing them talk <coughs> in the level, like, you know, the, the actual level itself. I, it's always just the cutscene. And look, I, you know, it's not an issue, but, you know, in, in newer LEGO games, even like LEGO Lord of the Rings, uh, in Marvel 1, they did that, and it's kind of funny to see them, you know, not do it here. Um, because the, the, the voice acting brings such life to these characters, and then in the gameplay, they're just, they're pantomime, you know what I mean? Whatever. Alright, so I think what you have to do for the Hydro suit, or whatever the heck he's wearing, uh, is you have to, uh, get, like, water. So, like, if, if you can kind of see your, like, Arkham Asylum basically turning into a big swimming pool... Uh, Rami can kind of use that to his advantage by fueling up his, uh, little suit there. Dude, this le- Oh my god, I freaking love this level, man. It's so dope. <laughs> this game is altogether awesome. I mean, just look at the, the hole down there, like the glass, you know, the water pouring out. Kind of cool stuff. Um, so I think, if I remember right, Robin can actually, uh, swim with his suit, right? Yeah! Alright. So we're gonna pull this lever here. <clears throat> We're gonna send this bat signal up to the top. And then this should... Yeah, okay, so this should be the electricity suit. Uh, let me get these studs over here, because we're gonna still try to reach 50,000. I'm clearing my throat. I do not have a cough. I am not sick. I just, uh... <clears throat> I'm just... No, no, I'm just clearing my throat. Whatever. Like, just, like, the fact that, like, when he leaves, there's no electricity. But then, like, here, like, he's not getting hurt. The electricity's, like... You know, surrounding him. It's so effing cool, man. Jeez. So now we took the electricity from there, and we basically transported it into that machine, and that is now allowing Robin to pass underneath. Alright, so... Oh, the hazard suit. That's what it's called. Is that, uh... Is the hazard suit in Batman 1? What was the one where he, uh... Like, sucked up all the Lego bricks, you know, like, in the first game? kind of uh, transported into that, like, machine thing. I don't remember what that was called. Alright, so, I cannot pass that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get effed up if I do, so I'm just gonna switch to Biatman here. And we'll try our best. To make it through. Oh crap. I got it, I got it. No, I don't get it. <laughs> Look at that. Batman, when he's got the electricity in him, he can kind of, uh do like a really powerful ground pound. Alright, so we're gonna dispense the electricity in here, and then this should stop the windmill. Hey, thanks, Batman. I can pass without getting chopped up. Don't mention it. Okay, uh, well, I mean, I, I just did, but it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Robin, you have to hurry. The villains might be escaping. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, got it. Oh no. Hey, uh, Batman? 
There's a uh, giant lizard man down here. Killer Croc. I've seen him before. We can't let him escape. Hang on. What are you doing? Giving him a Thanksgiving turkey. But it's December. It's actually January. <laughs> Here he goes, he's munching on the Twiki. He's gobbling the turkey. Alright. Okay, so now uh, we can smash my stuff over here. Get some money. Uh, I mean, we're almost at 20. I think we should be able to do it. So I, what you do is you hit this crab over here. And then this uh, breaks the, electro, the, the the fan. He's wearing. Now, uh, this is completely effing unrelated to this game, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So, uh, <laughs> I was trying to do some research because, you know, I, I can't film... Or, you know, I, I, can, I can record Series X gameplay on my little USB here thing, but it doesn't record audio, you know, for Series X ex exclusive games like Saints Row the Third, GTA Trilogy, uh, freaking Vanguard, you know, stuff like that. So, apparently some random random dude on the internet, you know, on Reddit, he was like, oh, it's fixed. So, uh, I'm currently not testing it. I'm going to be testing it today. Um, I'm going to be playing some more San Andreas. Um, I finished the game. They're, you know, the campaigns, it was, look, San Andreas, it's, it's, it's a pretty shitty campaign, I'm, you know, pretty, pretty shitty, pretty trash campaign, I'm not gonna tell you, it's just a bunch of dudes in the hood, just, that's, that's as far as I'm gonna say without getting called every name under the sun, but it's basically a bunch of dudes shooting a bunch of dudes in a neighborhood, and then, you know, it does get a little better with Samuel L. Jackson and all that, but, I don't know, I wasn't a big fan of the campaign, the open world in San Andreas, it's freaking outstanding, I love it, um, so I enjoyed the game, you know, it was a good game, but, uh, you know, so I, I want to be able to film it, you know, and I just, I couldn't before, so hopefully with, I'm, again, I'm going to test it after filming this today, I'm filming this on the 4th, um, so hopefully, it, you know, if it does work, that means I'll be able to play, you know, a bunch of dope games, like Valhalla and Vanguard, if, if not, this guy's blowing smoke and he's just completely on crack, then, you know, what, what do you want me to do? I gotta keep... I gotta keep looking into it. Echo Killshot, he's trying to help me, and, you know, OBS, I mean, the things are damn, it's just a complete, it's, it's giving me a migraine, dude, like, I just want to film video games, you know, for you guys, but, especially the Skywalker Saga, but my stupid asbestos USB, it's just on AIDS, and it won't, you know, I mean, it won't work. So, you know, here's hoping I can get this, something to work, so, you know, because I don't want to have to spend 350 freaking bucks to, you know, get a, get a, something to, to film, so, we'll see what happens. Alright, so this is an area for free play, so we're just gonna march on over here on the ladder. I did get some studs, we're almost at 40,000. I should be able to help us out. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna pull another lever here. Alright, and that is now gonna freeze that, and now we can climb. Let's do this. You're not escaping. Dude, this music. Not in one piece. As you can tell, uh, as I said, this is one of my favorite levels in the whole game, and, you know, it's got a sick atmosphere, you know what I mean? It's just like decrepit Arkham Asylum, everything's freezing and flooding, inmates are on the loose, and then you're gonna see what's happening in a few minutes here. Stuff hits the fan, bro! We're almost at 50. Uh, okay, that's free play, wait... Hey, Batman, aren't you like a billionaire? Why are you getting more money? You can never have enough money. Robin, I have 1,500 mansions I need to pay for. If you say so. Wi-Fi's not free. Alright, this is gonna be the ice suit. I don't know, I think the idea that, you know, Robin and Batman have different suits in basically Lego Batman 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Dimensions do not really count. Lego DC Super Villains I don't count because it's not really a Batman game. Um, <clears throat> but, man, Lego Batman, this trilogy of games, uh, you know, Batman 3 is not my favorite. You know, the whole worlds are kind of poop, but I think that for the most part, uh, you know, the campaigns in all three of these games are really freaking cool. 
and to actually, you know, have different suits and different kind of costumes that they can kind of don and wear. It's pretty ins Oh, man, 60,000? Just realized. Pretty cool stuff. All right, now before we climb that, we got to get this over here. All right. And the lighting too. Then look at like look at the rain outside. Pretty cool. The music, dude. This is, this is a good game, man. I think this this was a really good start to, um, you know the the quote unquote next gen Lego game back in the day in you know 2012. They did effing everything right. You know the open world is great. The the voice acting's awesome. Uh, the levels are amazing. Graphics are good. Oop, my God. I have to concentrate. All right. Like, even that, dude. Even the way the freaking thing, like, moves. I mean, that's iconic. Alright, so here we go. Don't let them escape. Push a push! Nice. There's a, so we already got Killer Croc, and there's Mr. Freeze. Um, he's kind of just chilling, I guess. Let me uh, smash. Okay, I smash this. Notice how, like, when they're on the ice too, they kind of slide. Like, watch, you're gonna stop moving. Pretty cool stuff, brother. All right, so I can get through here. We got the electricity suit, and we're going to take the shock value away, so to speak. Alright. Now Robin can climb, and he can now, uh, climb this. This was all, yep. This was so freaking hard, man, when I first played this, because, like, he automatically, like, he loses his grip halfway. It's just random. I'm trying to get the money here. Let me try. Hang on. I think I got it. Yep. Yes! Okay, we got it. We're good. Right. Now, welcome to the slowest freaking door opening of all time. I like that, though. I like how the camera um, kind of, like, jerks to the left, you know? <laughs> Violently shakes. And then this thing opens. I mean, you know, the pretty cool stuff. All right, so now we're shutting off the ice so Batman can climb. Looks like we are on thin ice. You get it, cause Mr. Freeze. Anyway, like even that's cool. The freaking the animation, you know. All right, so I'm pretty sure Robin can freeze this again. Uh, and now we'll have Batman climb. And then he should be able to, uh... Alright. Now it looks like Freeze is just kind of stuck in there, whatever. Hurry, Robin! What? The fuck is Ro Robin, get up here! Sorry! Stupid kid. Batman, we kind of... Oh, my God! We kind of need to hurry, Batman. I've got Latin homework. That's your problem. Yeah, you know what I mean? He just, he, like, am I stupid? Like, tell me in the comments if you played this level. Like, Robin and Batman, they just like to freaking let go of the ice halfway through. <clears throat> All right, now here's where the level gets even cooler. Scarecrow. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh, save in case this game crashes, which some, you know, sometimes it's... It, it effing does that. <laughs> it hasn't done it yet when I'm filming, so I swear to God if it does, you, you know, I'm gonna tell you about it. There I am. Wait, look, that's so sick, man. Like, look at this. Batman's not even touching that dude. He's just using the electricity, and he just rips him apart, dude. 
I swear to God, Lego Batman is the most violent Batman out of any Batman ever. He just rips people apart by their limb. By their Lego limbs. Alright, so now I think we can get Robin to switch on over to the... Acrobat suit. Uh, I think, let me, you know what, let me go over here. There we go, okay. So this is going to light up all the TVs, and then we can use the acrobat suit to do this. Alright. Getting the hamster ball thing. I like to think this is how Amazon delivers their packages. They just have some dude using a hamster ball to get it from point A to point B. Wait, maybe that's why everything's so damn slow, you know what I mean? They just, they just got one guy. You know, they paid one dude to get in this hamster ball. That's why my, uh, everyone doesn't get their stuff in the mail. <laughs> just, it's just on, it's stuck on the conveyor belt. Alright, so that's gonna come up right through here. This game also has the best door animation. Like, there's so many freaking doors on this level, you know? Alright, now, you know, let me do this, and then, uh... See, alright, here's my question. Who the fudge are this? Who are these guys? Are they scientists? Anyway, they're dead. I never understood, because I don't think those bad guys show up anywhere in the entire game. It's just right there. I think, uh, if you've seen the movie Clutch Powers, uh... Not the, not the canon clutch powers in Ninjago, I'm talking like the old Lego movie. Um, one of the scientists that helps clutch and everyone has that hairpiece. And I thought it was that dude at first, but... I don't believe it is. Alright, hey, maybe maybe we can hit 100,000. Alright, so Batman, of course, sensor suit. Turn invisible. You can get past the cameras. See, this is how you do video game skins in a good way. It doesn't just look different, it also has a, you know, a, a function. Alright. So now I think we can get back to the ice suit. Put out the fire over there. Alright, there's Scarecrow chilling. Oh yeah, look at that. That freaking x-ray. Oh, there he goes! Oh, this is sick, too. It's like that scene in the Lego Batman movie. Take that, Alan. <laughs> All right. You know what I mean? It's, it's such a... Uh, such a tiny effing moment, but just, like, having a really small fight in, like, this x-ray area, dude. I mean, it, it's, you know, freaking cool, man. See, the combo system is, I think, pretty dope because they're going to have that in Skywalker Saga from what I've heard. If that game ever releases before I die. Um, apparently, that's what they're saying. Is that uh, Skywalker... Like, the more you do, like, lightsaber combos or, like, blaster combos, you should be able to get more... Oh, I got 100. Um, should be able to get more studs. Alright. This one should go... Alright, now this one's gotta go at the bottom, I think. Perfect. Like, look at this bridge, man, like... I mean, Arkham Asylum, it's, it's, it's effing flooding. Poison Ivy's got moss and mold in the background, and then you got this really intricate bridge. You know. I mean, it's sick, you know. <laughs> Combo 12, look at him. I'm so freaking good at this game. Alright, we gotta cross that. Robin's just committing suicide, that's great. And now we need uh, the ice suit. Oh, dude, look at that freaking. Look at the. Right here. Let's see. 
Another bridge. Now I'm just telling you this right now. We're almost, we're about 20 and a half minutes with this video, which I'm fine with, and we're toward the end anyway, sadly. But uh, the hell's Batman? I can't switch to him. Uh, level five, the one after this, is the longest level in the game. And Robin, Batman, why are you committing suicide? It's it's a. Uh, it's almost too long of a level, you know, if, if that can be a thing in LEGO games, but, I mean, it's effing long of a, it's a very extensive level, so, I'm just warning you, you know, it might be 30, 35 minutes long, depending on, you know, which I don't think you guys give a crap, because I'm assuming you like watching this, from all the views and likes, so, I mean, it should be, but I'm just bloody warning you, you might want to get your popcorn for that next one. Well, for sure hit 50. I know for a fact on that one, for sure. Scared. Look at him, just smugly walking away. Let's see. Oh, dude, look at this combo. What am I going to hit? Freaking 18, brother. There's a poison. Oh, look at him moving, too. Okay. Oh, I remember this. All right, so you drop that. It's like a, uh, it's like a battery. All right. And then this little. That's that's cool, dude. And there you go. Hurry, Robin, we don't have a lot of time. Alright, so this this right here is the best part of the game. The camera the camera shake is effing awesome. Just look at the cam look at that. I'm just gonna keep running. Like the one developer was like, F it, let's make this the coolest thing in the world. Is Ro I swear to God, if Robin's jumping off that ledge again, I'm gonna beat him up. Robin, you're making me backtrack. Oh my God, he is. The AI's on drugs. All right. We'll work our way over here. That's such a cool moment, though, man. All right, so now we should be able to work our way straight on this way. Into uh, over here. All right, I'll get this one. All right, now this is a cool boss fight because you're not. I mean, you know, you don't really know, but you're gonna be playing it. Shit, you're not gonna be playing. It. I, Sorry, what am I talking about? But this area is variety in me, totally. Oh dear. Look at that pill. The Matrix pill. Oh, wait, no. Matrix is uh, blue and red. So, you're not playing. That's what I'm trying to say. You're watching me play it. But, right now, basically what's happening is Batman and Robin are being exposed to Scarecrow's fear toxin. Kind of like in my day in life of Batman. I'll have to ask you to die. Um, that's why he's so flippin' big right now. But, just, like, just hearing Robin be like, Yeah, he smuggled in a bomb, and Scarecrow's like, You're gonna have to die. I mean, that was... Pretty nuts. My one issue is that when he throws the, uh, the, the pill, it gets, like, tiny in midair, but whatever. So, the screen's getting more effed up and more, like, green. Which is basically, you know, the gameplay... Telling the player that, you know, the, the toxins in effect. And look... If you look at Batman move, it's kind of like, uh... If you notice, look, just look at Batman. He's kind of like waving in and out. I'm not doing that. I'm just going straight. 
he's just it's kind of cool that you know the toxins affecting them and they're making the gameplay all wonky it's a butt ton of inmates like dude that's cool you know what I mean like it's it's Before I give any of you guys a freaking headache, let me just build this. Alright, so we gotta climb up there. I think this is gonna release the ladder. Like, dude, I can't even move the character. I'm trying to go straight. This dude's weaving in and out like nothing. Alright. Well, I've been hit the switch. Alright. Now, this is gonna activate the vent. And if you notice, the screen's not as green, and I'm not as wavy, so it's kind of cool. It's kind of like dissipating the, uh... I mean, that's a really cool feature, I think, you know? I mean, that's... Pretty unique of a thing, just for this one effing level. They're like, yeah, Scarecrow, but we're gonna actually make it, you know, not dumb. Alright, now, Robin, you pull this one. And this should get rid of all the toxin. Look at that. That's so effing cool, man. Every time you hit him, he gets smaller. That's awesome too. Like when you deliver the kill blow, it just sends him through <laughs> through a, through a uh, metal wall or a uh, metal wall. Remote tie-in. The door. Computer. Remote tie-in. Active. Identify residual radiation. Radiation consistent with energy signature of U.S. Defense Department project JSG slash 817. Currently under development at LexCorp. Well, I think we know who broke Joker out of prison. Lex Luthor? No. What would an upstanding presidential. Look at the background too. Lex Luthor want with the Joker. I've heard that Lex Luthor may not be so upstanding. You might want to tell somebody. Election day is tomorrow. Sir, there's been a break in at Ace Chemicals. Wouldn't be surprised if that was Joker's first stop. Alright, we're off to Ace. Not the bat hound, the chemical factory. <laughs> that might be a problem. Alright guys, we pushed literally, this was a half hour. This was a great level though, again, uh, one of my favorite of the whole 15, whole campaign. Very awesome stuff, very iconic stuff. And that boss fight, man, is just so freaking cool. It's not really hard, but it's very innovative. In terms of, you know, the toxin and all that, and the fact that it gets smaller each time, I mean, that's pretty cool. So, alright, so that will be, uh, level 4. Hope you guys enjoyed, again, leave a like if you did. Again, next time will be level 5, which is, again, the longest level in the game. Just wanted to tell you that right now. Um, I can't wait for it, so we'll see you guys in the next video.